we decided last minute, real last minute, to do the Royal Gorge train. So it's a two hour train ride. It's not super cheap. It was, I think, uh, 89 bucks a person. So after taxes, 200 something. But we got the like nicest seats. You get like the glass top and open top. So uh, we saw this on TikTok, so we decided to try it out. We're gonna go see what this train's all about and uh, just show you guys what we see and hope you guys like it. So this is our car. So you get windows all the way across, whereas those, you only get a few windows. So that's why we opted for the higher ticket price so that we could have a better view and uh, maybe a better experience, who knows. But we're just waiting to board, got our tickets. Let's go. All right, so we made it under our train. This is my boo thing. It's pretty cool, the dome here. The trains are pretty long. And that way there's a full food and drink menu. Definitely pretty cool in here. I have to duck because my head hits the ceiling, but that's all right. Uh, he said we can go out to the open area that doesn't have a roof, so pretty excited about that. So we just got off the train ride. We're here at uh, Happy Endings Caboose. It was pretty cool. I highly recommend it. Um, the seated areas are all right. I don't know if they were worth the $89, but the reason I say that is uh, if it's nice enough, you can just head out onto the flat platform, which I was on almost the whole trip. So, but if you want a little privacy, pay extra, sit up there. They have a um, bar and food that they cook and serve you, you know, beer flights, things like that. So it's definitely worth it. We're going to head up to the bridge park now, uh, pay 28 bucks to get in per person, and we can ride the gondola over the bridge uh, that overlooks where we were just at. So it was pretty cool. Um, again, 
you want to save some money, just pay for the low end seats and then just walk out under the open air car. That's where everyone's at anyway. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage of that and we'll see you with the next adventure. All right, we have arrived at the Gorge Bridge. About to walk out on it. I think it was 30 bucks a person, so $60 total. Not too bad. No real rules or regulation, just no drones. But we're gonna head over there and see what we can see. Check it out. Uh, just watched the theater it's a cool little 15 minute presentation about the bridge how the fire almost destroyed it and all that recommend it now we're trying to find the gondola Whew. which are the sky cars that go over the gorge and offer uninterrupted 360 degree views so we're just following signs for now we're all right, but I'm ready to be on those and head it back down the other way. I believe they're up here with all the crazy stuff. There's a carousel, like a little kid's playground thing. So hopefully we'll find it soon. Oh, we finally found it. It's way up there. Not super hard hike, but if you're not used to little elevation changes, it could be a bit rough. But we're almost there, so we made it to the top. We have the swings over there, gorge over there, visitor center way over there. I don't know where the bridge would be. Oh, you can kind of see it's past that house. But we have the uh, gondolas and zip lines over here. So let's see what those are like. All right, we made it. We're in them. It's just us, but they're still running them all day. So I'll put some music over this. Enjoy it without me talking.
So right off the main way here, before the bridge, there's this little footbridge on down the stairs. And you get to walk way out over. Ooh, way out actually.